Hey guys, happy Friday afternoon. I'm chilling, listening to listening to smile. <clears throat> Wait for a couple people to hop on. Ooh, I've been doing some receiving. Where's all my peeps? I got my cucumber, lemon, lime, water. Hi, love. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, shoot. Happy birthday, girl. Happy birthday, girl. Happy good afternoon. I love my ladies. I love my ladies. So we're talking about believing. We're talking about receiving. Hello, Laura. Hello, Linda. Hello, Sabrina. Thank you, thank you so much. I just used a little tea tree, a little miracle tea soap. Put it in there, shake it all about. I love you guys. So guys, we're talking about being flexible. Yeah, wish um, Laura happy birthday, everybody. So, you know, cherishing the ideas that we get in our minds, you know, my, I've been going in about receiving, so I talked about it the other night, right? I've been going in on receiving love. And, you know, get excited, guys, because, like, I wasn't always good at receiving love, but instead of getting in the doo-doo about it, I get excited about the things that I learn that are bringing me closer, and it is making it easier and easier and easier to start receiving love in my life. I want to see you guys be able to receive this love. So, you know, if you've been with me for a while and you've been on this self-love journey, you know sometimes that receiving is sometimes not always the easiest part. And I love all of you guys. Um, you know, <laughs> I've been getting deep. I've been getting deep with this topic lately, with myself lately. You know, the whole thoughts, words, actions, things keeps coming up and you know, I believe that my ideas are like these God-inspired things, right? And, and, and the more that I learn to get in touch with my feelings and, and how my feelings go with these ideas, these it's like creating this magic in my life, guys. And so I really want to talk to you guys about this because I'm super hype about it. Yes, yes. Excitement is a magnet, Sabrina. And, you know, when you can go through the doo-doo and you can only really go there so long, right? And then you have to come back out and you have to get back excited about things and excited about life. And so, you know, these ideas that I say are, I think, are God-inspired. You know, I'm so thankful. I am so, so thankful. Like, for the past three days, you know, it's just been really easy for me to wake up so thankful. Um, you know, I I'm thankful for the flexibility in my body, right? And so, like, as I start to become more flexible in my body, I also become more flexible in my life, right? And so, you know, by not even paying, like, paying any mind to how flexible am I navigating through my life? Am I holding rigid to things or, or am I being flexible about it? Instead of holding on to that, I'm just trying to be flexible in my physical body. And that's actually working out in my actual life. And, and that's how these things work. These ideas, these things. Yeah, two days moping max. Yeah. Yeah, it's been some shit, you know? You know, and so I am thankful for learning to reconnect with my feelings. And so, like, I've always been a feeler. I've always been able to feel. I couldn't figure out, you know, what kept going on. And it was that I was, there were certain areas in my life where I wasn't connected to my feelings. I was, I was disconnecting from them for whatever unhealthy way, right? And so we all have those things, but... You know, I am thankful that I'm creating my actual life and all the possibilities that are really available to me. You know, you can come out in this life and you can be in this box of only what you can have and what you can do and what you can be and what you can see. And, or, you know, you can be so open to endless possibilities that are available to you in all the mess and madness that has ever been 
in your life. You know, there, it, it, whatever duty you're sitting in right now, there is an endless world of possibilities that is for you. Hello, love. I tried to call you like a stalker, Crystal. You were going through it, and I was like, I had to, felt like I had to call and pump you up. So I'm sorry if I creeped you out, but I, I just, I love, I love people. I love people that love themselves. I love people that get what I'm talking about when I talk about how difficult sometimes it is to actually receive love, and that's because. You know, we're always trying to get to the end of that that story. We're always trying to be like, all right, well, tell me, you know, you want to be at the end. And, you know, what my friend taught me, my, my favorite thing about my friend who brought this receive thing up to me is that every time I talk to her, it's a love story. I mean, she will talk about her talk with her neighbor and it is like a love story. You know, you got to be ready to be on the phone with her for 45 minutes for her to tell you this love story and you know, you get to the end and you're like, yeah. And, and she's like, well, wasn't that beautiful? Like you didn't even receive that. And, and, and I didn't know at the time, like I kept thinking she was like bumping against me, but what she was really doing was saying like, you're not receiving each piece of this information as it comes in to you, Sarah, you are wanting to jump to the end of it and want to know the end conclusion so fast you're not receiving and I'm like what are you talking about well duh because like that is the part that's the love story the, the that that leads up to it, that is the love story each oh, moment each yes what's next oh my gosh then what'd she say you know that is what is going to lead you through your love story let's not be so fast to jump to the end of our love story guys Let's be right now in our love story. Let's be right now in the madness and the mess and the retrograde and the back swings and the front end. Let's be right now in our love story. No, you didn't creep me out. I barely go on my messenger because I'm nervous of everyone. <laughs> I love you. I love your guts. I used to, I was just thinking about that today. You know, how far I've come. Um, in my love story of being here on live Facebook, you know, I, I used to really avoid messages and I wouldn't, and I wasn't really, you know, talking about receiving love. Um, I couldn't receive love when I first started always think about was having a really hard time about it. You know, people would message me all kind of stuff and Lord only knows how many people I just ignored completely. Like I'm coming out here popping these messages and I was just ignoring people because it was really hard for me to receive love. And so like, that's, what's cool about this is, you know, when you're working on something like this or something like this, you just incorporate it into your everyday life, right? And so, you know, I'm on here. And so, you know, each message and each communication and each um, each moment that you have on your love story that adds that chapter, that next chapter, that next part that, you know, and some chapters are a little bit boring. And sometimes there's just some self-reflection going on in that chapter and that's okay, you know? And then sometimes it's like action packed and you got things going on everywhere. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Can you guys see me? Cause the comments are like on my face, but if you guys can see me, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. I love you. You know, it's real what we're going through out here. So don't ever be apologizing, you know, for, for what your heart's going through. And, and you know, I, I love and honor you for sharing your feelings. Um, you know, the feelings is, is where it's at. The feelings, you know, they add with the ideas. And, and you want to clear these old feelings out so you can fill those new spaces with new, clear ideas of your divine purpose here. You know, because I really do believe that our ideas are somehow linked up with our God mind. You know, people say I'm crazy. I never really gave a damn. Um, you know, I am thankful for every person and experience and even every pain on my journey. And so every single person that I ever met, every single experience that I ever had and every single pain that I'd ever gone through got me to where I am today. And so that's why, you know, sometimes guys, you know, being thankful is easy because you just get there and you're just like thankful to everything. Like, you know, I could roll around and thanks really because I've been doing it because I've been plugging in at it because I've been making that be my mission. You know, sometimes, you know, we could be taking all the action in the world out here 
and we could be working our brains off and you know lord knows i've done it but you know this what i want to talk to you guys today this receiving this feminine receiving this is deep man this is like sitting back and magic just coming to you yeah we'll definitely talk girl people say i'm crazy i never really gave a damn <laughs> Pat that quote. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. You know, my friends are always like, Sarah, you say some wild shit when you're on there sometimes. And, you know, I just get on here and I just get to, you know, pumping you guys up with love with the things that I know. And then, you know, my, sometimes my ideas come out of my mouth whenever I'm on these lives. So I love these lives and I love you guys for coming on these lives and I love you guys. And I'm so thankful for all the messages and all the connections that I've made from these lives and, and then bringing them into my community and into my family and, you know, stirring topics up and really getting this healing moving. We're really getting our feelings out. We're really getting more adjusted to our feelings. We're really starting. And th that's all, that's all I was trying to do. <laughs> that's all I was trying to do. Um, you know, the feminine in you, it just wants to be in the love story. That's the, my favorite thing about my friend guys I'm telling you you know she would tell me about this receiving and I wasn't really much listening to it whenever she would say it like that but you know she would just you know tell me this love story about her walk and, and, and a deer <laughs> and there would be not even one person connected to it and I would just be like oh my god like I love her spirit like I love her love stories and I wasn't really catching in our relationship that I wasn't, um, I wasn't receiving my ideas. I wasn't receiving my messages from spirit. I was trying to take so much action in my life that I wasn't being in my feminine power and I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. I was wasting the energy and being tired and depleted in my creations. Right. So I love her. Like I love her past the moon um and you know she was just talking about receiving out loud and she hasn't really said it to many people and you know and so I know this is in the air right now and so you know uh, the feminine in you just wants to observe all of her creation all of her love story you know so in order to do that you cherish and honor each idea that comes up with you and with your every conversation that you're in and with every moment with your baby and with every time you are pushing this energy work through your actual physical body to heal and, and when you're talking sickness out of your cells, you know, cherish and honor each idea and each person and each moment that you have in that, right? Um, you know, the feminine in you, she needs time with herself. She needs time by herself, just with her and her guidance system to feel that system, to receive the love from her guidance system. And so a lot of women out here don't really get the chance to, they don't really make the time to be alone with their own guidance system. And so I love that I took this little soul vacation away from my baby because it was kind of like, I got to disattach from being a mom and I got to really be, not have the job of being a mom for seven days or six days and, and just really attach to my internal guidance system and receive the messages that were coming. The outside of it kind of was like, oh, I'm not sure what's going on, but my internal guidance system was like on, 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 on. And I was like, yes, 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 yes. I feel you. And by doing so, we have started. I give you permission to speak my name. Thank you for honoring me. I love you, Simone. I love you. You've been such a great part of this journey for me. I swear to God, thank you so much for, for what you do in your love story. Um, I, I cherish every single one of our conversations. Like... You have no idea. The most divineness. Um, <clears throat> so like I said, you know, receiving guys is like sitting there and all that you ever dreamed of comes right to you, right? And so, you know, some are going to be out here and say to me, well, Sarah, that doesn't happen. Well, yeah, that does happen. 
um, you know, we do more than we need to do by feeling and think, thinking, not feeling, by thinking that we're not doing enough. Does that make sense? We do more than we need to do by thinking that we're not doing enough. Not We're not feeling in to ourselves when our body says rest, relax, receive. You know, we're just trying to go, 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 get them, get them, go, go, get them, get them, you know? And, you know, your feminine wants you to sit down a little bit and, and, and really receive the blessings that are, are available to you. And, yeah, you know, there's a lot of clearing and healing and changing and shifting and expanding that goes on in this process and so you know that's why you need to learn how to love yourself and love your love story because you know some people are trying to get to the end so fast that they're not even getting a taste of the moment that is that is theirs right now and so you know you can tell when you talk to somebody and they're not cherishing their moments because they don't tell life like a love story. They're always trying to get to the end. And what's the conclusion? You know? Um, <clears throat> I love you. I love you. I love you, Crystal. So, you know, do you trust? You know, you really do have to, I guess, figure out how to trust that when you sit there, everything can come to you. If not, you're just going to keep running around and that is not being able to receive your actual blessings that's what it is you know that running around that's not being able to receive so <clears throat> you know you have to take in your love story of whatever your love story is you have to take in each moment of it like it's new chapters to your love story new new you know new things unfolding in your love story um you know i'm so lucky because i get to talk to tons of people Right. And so, you know, it just brings it to me that much faster, you know, and it's funny because a lot of the information that I'd get when I first started doing Always Think Up, I wouldn't receive because I was kind of like freaked out by certain people. You know what I mean? And and how do you get past that? You go inside of you and, and you figure out who you can trust and, and, and the things that you're feeling and who you want to collaborate with and who you want to learn from and who you want to receive from. You know, we're not just out here trying to receive from anybody. We're divine, you know, you, you, sometimes, you know, when you're in that action mode, you're receiving, um, you know, things that kind of are what you're creating, but not really. And, and it's up to you to tune into that internal guidance system. And you're like, well, there's this, this, and this, I'm just going to do it. And, and that's okay. Cause you're going to come back and you're going to have to get it right. You know what I mean? But like that action based mind that where, where you can't find the receiving part of it. Um, can sometimes have you, <laughs> if you know what I mean, I don't really, I don't have a word for this right now. Um, I'm just going to give it one of these because that's what it feels like, you know, when you're, when you're trying to take too much action and you're not just in alignment with your love, it can get a little whoo wee, right? And so, you know, <clears throat> I cherish all the people that I get to talk to. I, I, I cherish the things that you have been through, the hurts, the pains, the growth, the, you know, revelations. Um, you know, and I've been talking to a lot of people lately and, and one of the collective type messages that I've been getting is like, you know, mixed signals. And so, you know, you, you're, you're getting like a sign from the universe over here and a sign from the universe over there and a sign from the universe over here and... It's kind of maybe like all about the same thing, right? You know, my advice to my friends that are going through that, I'm like, well, stop. Stop all of that right now and, and, and go and do your toenails and or, or, you know, eat some fruit or take a bath or stretch your body. Uh, you know, you were made to receive. Like, this isn't just like you come down here they splat you on here and you're supposed to like work, 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 work. Like, you know, receiving is something that you have to learn. Receiving is huge, you know, but it, it, you, it comes in little bits. It's a love story. You know, it's a love story how I just got to learn how to receive. You know, clean up stuff in your life. Make room for the things that you want in your life, that's huge. You know, I was talking to you guys about these particles and these fragments, right? So I've been talking about 
particles and fragments and how we kind of send them out there as like little ideas and then we bring them together with the vibration of love and then we bring them through us like out and we birth them out into physical form. And, you know, today when I was having my talk with spirit, I was saying how, you know, these particles are these ideas. The, you know, the ideas and then the, the heart, the love that you have for the idea, that gives the idea fuel. And so as you have this idea and you have this love for this idea and you're, you're building on this passion in your love story, it could be whatever, man. Like you could be, you know, it could be your career. It could be your love life. It could be your dream vacation. It could be your dream family. It could be anything that you, your heart ever dreamed of starts with an idea and then gets fueled by the love in you, right? And then your feelings bring them to you through you, right? So, you know, you get this idea, you get this love for this idea, and you let it fuel you. Now, sometimes we could be out here in the world, hello, love, and we could be telling people our ideas, right, and how that blends in with our heart and, and how that makes us feel. We're so passionate, right? And then you have these, like, Debbie Downer type dudes, all right? And they're just like, bang, like, crush your feelings. Those aren't the people you want to dwell with. You want to cut that off, and you want to keep being you. You want to be around friends, and you want to have friends. You want to have a support system that, like, pumps you up about your ideas, that gets you excited about your ideas. You know, me and my friends, we cheer on our ideas. We promote each other's ideas. We, get, we help them to fuel their heart about their ideas. That's what you want to do because... When, when when your ideas are up about the thing that your heart feels and everything like that, then it just aligns right to you right there. When your ideas are low because you've been talking about the naysayers and the people that say that you can't do the things that you always dreamed of that you could do, um, you know, you'll go in, you're going to attract that idea, but you're going to attract it at a lower vibration. So it's not going to feel like that one up here that's all I know I mean it'll be it'll, it'll have like some of them but it's just not up here um so you know I've been talking about your thoughts your words your actions your thoughts your words your actions your thoughts your words your actions but like really this is all your story and so you know I was really getting deep into this whole action versus alignment thing this is what's been going on for me. This is what I have been learning about is, is where in my life do I try to take action as the human, as the girl, as the mother, as the whatever versus alignment with the greatest good for all, right? Because that's where you'll find your resistance whenever you're bumping up into things, right? And so, you know, what is, what is the difference between action and alignment? You know, and I went through that, and I went through that. You know what it is? Sureness. Sureness. You know damn well that that shit's yours. Right? So, you know, action is effort. Action is trying. Action is working for it. Action is putting in time for it. You know, where alignment is where it just comes right into you. Where all you do is you focus on your vibration, how you feel on the inside of you, what you need to clear out of the out of the inside of you, right? And get out. See, I'm trying to receive, guys. I'm trying to learn how to receive. And so as I learn this, I'm just going to share it with you guys because I feel like maybe there are a lot of people here receiving you know it sounds like a really silly thing it's you know it's it's been tough for me I'm gonna say it and so you know I, I I'm really liking this what I'm learning you know and sharing it helps me too sharing it and talking about it it helps me too you know but the good thing about you know alignment versus action too is like now I know who to talk to about things. Now I know about, you know, the action part and, and not really being, you know, alignment is when you're fully 
in tune with your feelings. Alignment is when you're fully in tune with all of you and, and it just comes perfectly. You know, action is when you're trying to make it work. You're trying to get it to fit. And so, um, you know, when I, when I share these videos with you, it is teaching me to receive because each message and each person that I meet through these videos, um, you know, I have to receive somehow from you guys too, right? I have to receive your stories. I have to receive your love. I have to keep a, a balance in my life of giving and receiving love, right? And so, you know, sometimes when this give and receive is off, you know, a lot of people in my life will tell me, you know, how tired they feel. And I'm like, well, you probably don't have an even balance in giving and receiving. And they're like, what? And I'm like, yeah, because, you know, if you don't have a healthy balance in giving or receiving, um, you're going to feel tired. And so, you know, it takes work sometimes to be in the receive mode. And as you do this work to be in the receive mode, it gets easier and easier, right? But, like, don't try to force things to happen in your life. Don't try to force people to be your friends or, you know, your your relationship with your mom or, your, you know, your your anything don't don't force things in your life don't force from expectations of what things should be you know and know that it's ladylike to be alone with yourself in your guidance sometimes um and even for my fellas man you have divine feminine in you too and it, it's healthy to be by yourself and connect in and like i told you guys last night take a deep breath in through your nose breathe it all the way up breathe it out your mouth connect in with you ask yourself ask your internal guidance system um you know guys vibes don't lie they provide right so vibrations don't lie they provide you an internal system to of where to go you know when you get around certain people and you feel certain things you feel that for a reason you know, not everybody vibes with each other. Not everybody vibes the same. Sometimes even people from the same family don't even vibe the same, you know? And so definitely friends and things like that, right? And then sometimes you just meet total absolute strangers and you just vibe out. You know, you trust them with your whole entire life and you don't even know why, you know? And, and that's because vibes don't lie. They provide you guidance. And when you're not tuned into your ideas and when you're not tuned into yourself, then you're not tuned into your internal guidance. And so, you know, you have to be in receive mode with your vibe. Is constantly sending out um, wishes and ideas and things like that, right? But, you know, you have to be in love with yourself at all times possible because the higher that your vibration is when that wish comes in, that's the higher that you're going to catch it. And so, you know, sometimes when you're trying to force it, you're you're not aiming as high as you can really go. You're 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 trying to force something like down here whenever really you deserve what's up here, but you're so focused on getting to the end of the story that you just want to hurry up and just do this so, just to say you did it. Um you know, don't give up guys and be flexible. You know, I love multitasking because to me, you know, that's how life works. You know, when I can't get this right over here. I got to go over here, you know, in my own self, in my own world, on my own planet, you know, if, if something's not going right over here, I can just go right on my own planet and just focus on my garden, another garden, you know, focus on my whatever, you know, you can, that's why I love multitasking. You know, sometimes what I find with a lot of my clients is they're bored. You know, that they're not multitasking. They're doing one thing and they're, they're getting in this repetitive cycle. And I tell them, you know, try some new things. And they're like, what? And then all of a sudden their whole entire lives unravel because they just, you know, they were bored. And so they kept running over the same ideas and then getting angry and frustrated about not being at the end and, and enjoying the love story and receiving each particle of love as it comes through. You know, that's what's so cool about these particles is like, oh, we're going to get there. <laughs> So, you know, be pumped about your ideas until you align with it. And so, you know, if you have this idea, you know, I was just talking to a girl the other day and she's like, you know, I want to open up this hair shop and she's dope. And I'm like, yes, 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 yes. You know, and, and so we're, we're talking about all this stuff and, 
and she's like, yeah, but my mom said this. And I'm like, ah, we're leaving that out of your love story. Like, you know, let's talk about what we're going to do great in your love story right now. Let's not think about, you know, our sound is our creation. Our sound creates. And so we want to bring the good into our love story. We want to leave what we don't want behind. And, and don't bring that into your love story. You know, you write your love story. I love you, Simone. Um... So be pumped about your ideas until you align with it, right? And how do you know you align with it? Because boom, it's right there. You know, when you know that it's for you to receive, it's right here in front of your face. We're trying too hard. We're working too hard. Thank you, Simone, for teaching me that I was working too hard. You know, and, and I still work hard and I still have work to do in this space and everything else. But just this much of knowing this much, I'm so thankful for. Um, you know, and so a lot of us are walking around and our wishes are right in front of our face, but we're not ready to receive them. And so we can't even see them. We make this harder than it is. We're healing, clearing, and expanding. Be patient with yourself. You know, oh, particles all have cooperative components, right? And so I believe that every particle that we send out there into the 5D, our wishes, our ideas, our feelings about that, right? Um, there's, there's a cooperative component to each of those things, right? And so that'll come in people, places, all of it. My, my conversation with Simone about receiving two years ago that I never realized would bring me to today, right? And so, you know, these cooperative components, they're like these God winks. They're, they're like, they're, they're when the universe is winking at you and showing you, yes, this is what you're supposed to be doing. You know, like, did I know when I started to always think up that me and Simone would talk about this two years ago and I'd be here today? No, I didn't. But I just kept following these God winks of these particles that I had out here. And slowly but surely by trusting myself to get to someone like Simone, to get to some, where I'm at today, right? So, you know, I want to talk to you guys about action versus patience and alignment, right? Because I, I was big on telling you guys about, you know, thoughts, words, actions. I was big on that. But I want to come back and I want to change my word to alignment because, you know, to me, the feminine receiving is patience and alignment, not action, you know, maybe that's the man's job because I'm not there anymore, right? I, I really want to be in alignment with receiving. And so, you know, patience and alignment to me is way better than how much work goes into action sometimes to not even really get to the right end result because your vibes get all fuzzy, right? So, yeah, you do put action in. You put action in the thought of the idea. Maybe, you know, it gets you doing something new. Maybe it gets you, you know, moving in with a new groove, some love in your heart, right? Um, but you don't have to build it with your hands, right? And so that's what I'm learning. It's like, you know, how to put these ideas in my mind and just love every moment and be patient with myself and relax on myself a little bit, not try to always make everything happen so great and grand in my life, right? And then, you know, keep collecting data on my ideas, right? And so, like, the feelings that my ideas give me. And so that's what I did, like, with this retrograde. Like, I kind of, like, retroed back to, like, the beginning of Always Think Up. And, like, what did I want for this? And, and what did I... What was my idea for this? And what did I see for everybody for this? And, and what was it? What was my idea for me for this, right? <clears throat> and so <clears throat> I just keep loving my love story. You know, when I talk about a love story, I just mean your life. I, everything can be your love story. Your car can be your love story. Your house can be your love story. Your kids can be your love story. Your food can be your love story. Your, your singing could be your love story. Your, your, your gift could be your love story. You know, whatever it is that you want, I love I love it. Um, keep loving your love story. We, we, it's like we want to be ready, but we want it to be ready. And we're, we feel this rush that we need it ready, but it's not ready. And so, you know, it's like, if you don't have it, then you're like frustrated. Well, if you're frustrated, you're going to catch something frustrated. And what's yours is yours. Like, do you trust that? Like receiving is knowing that what's yours is yours. Do you trust that? No matter how jolted up it gets, what's yours is yours. When, when you listen to people and their lives and their love stories, listen to them. How they say, what's mine is mine in my love story, right? I go hard for my love story. Um, but 
we don't rush and you want to get to the end of the love story. Fall in love with the mystery. Fall in love with the awe moments. Fall in love with the walks and thoughts all alone. Fall in love with the times that you're learning your internal guidance system. That time you spend alone, that's universally divine to learn your internal guidance system. You know, guys, you could be the car guy for your love story, right? I love it all. I love it all. You know, we've all had that bad car, okay? And so you're getting bad vibes about your bad car. You're in the doo-doo. And then all of a sudden you get ideas for a new car. That's cool, right? Yeah, of course. That's what you want to do. That's what you want to do with your ideas, right? You create your reality by your mind, your thoughts, your words, your actions, mm, alignment. I don't know what we're going to say now. So you get the idea and you want the car right now. Like you, now you can't even stop thinking about the car right? You're, you're, you're obsessing about this car, you know, you're going crazy about it. So instead of enjoying the love story about manifesting the car that you're supposed to have, you are going crazy taking action about it, right? Till that car is in your hands, baby. Till you have the keys and you are in it. Now in that forward action you, you took the feelings out and you took the receptivity out of the receiving mode of of actually you know birthing this thing that you thought of and now you got a car payment and you don't even really like the car but you needed it you know you want to get it so fast that you stumble that you spend extra money that you run into five people that had bad vibes you know, you ended up with the thing all night long, get, didn't get any sleep, had to wake up early for work. You got it, but now you're tired. You don't even like it. That's not divine receptivity. That's not divine feminine. That's not getting, that's not receiving your blessing. That wasn't how your blessing was supposed to come or it wouldn't have had all of those things. You know, the more I learned to trust myself and my feelings and to receive love, the more I really, really see how tuned into spirit that we are, but we just have these programs that tell us that we're not good enough to be that tuned into spirit as that girl that talks on that video. You know, we're not as good as that guy over there because he must do something way more than we do. Yeah, he drinks Pepsi. I mean, okay, yeah, whatever. You know, we're all teaching one another, guys. And so, you know, the car could be your love story. Uh, the, the perfect mate could be your love story. But what we need to do is not force the end of it. We need to not force the end of, of what happens with our car, guys. You know, <clears throat> I shared with you guys on my old page before I got hacked that, you know, when I was when I was manifesting my car, I did actually receive. And thank you, Simone, because that's a part of my story. You know, it's like I took my car back to the bank. I knew I couldn't pay the car payment anymore. I was I, I knew I had the job at the casino, but I was just ready for whatever. I was going to just work local to home and just get rid of my car payment and not get the casino if that was meant to be what was happening right and all of a sudden i'm there and my girlfriend comes and she gives me a car and i knew that i was to receive that and i knew that i loved her for letting me have that moment to receive that car and to receive the blessings from spirit that i was supposed to go to the casino and i was to, and everything is provided for me and everything does work out for me right and so that's beautiful you know the car was a part of my love story and, you know, trusting, you know, can you trust your ideas? I think that's what happens a lot is that we get these ideas and we get these feelings from these ideas and then we're like, don't trust it, right? I know that I went through that a lot. And, um, <clears throat> you know, but if you, as soon as you can trust these particles that you put in the air and that they're going to come through you and out through you at the vibration that you vibrate at, um, you know, boom, it's yours, right whenever you can figure out how to do that it's, it's yours it's yours your blessings are your blessings you know so i want to replace <laughs> vibes on high i want to replace impatience um i have to tilt it to the side because that's just how it works on here i love you guys so <laughs> i hope that doesn't make anyone offended um Replace impatience with eagerness. Like, yeah, you know, I'm eager now for my ideas. I'm eager now to receive my visualization, my visit visualizations from spirit. I'm I'm eager 
instead of impatient with the journey. I, I'm eager to have every single moment of my love story. I'm eager to hear every plot twist and turn. I, I'm eager for every single time that it's about to get real, real good. And then every time it's like going downtown, baby. Um, you know, guys, don't let the what is about life get in your way. Don't don't let the what is about life get in your way. You know, just just keep having these ideas and letting your heart spark these ideas and, and talking to people who promote your ideas and, and cherish your heart and your ideas, right? Because receiving goes way deep, way deep. Receiving is so great, man. Like, you know, I think a lot of these people out here have a hard time receiving. It's so crazy, Simone, <laughs> because that's what you've been telling me. And I'm like, oh yeah, I see it. But you know, I really see it now. Um, you know, receiving goes so, so deep and just like, you know, how stretching your body moves the energy, you know, in your physical life. Um, you know, when you learn to receive, that just makes the energy move so much better. You know, that's what I was just talking about last night. It was like the giving and receiving, you know. I wasn't always good at receiving, so all of my relationships were... Wait, 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 wait. Running around. And so now that I am, am receiving better, like all of my relationships are better. Me and my mom, me and my sisters, me and my girlfriends, me and my schools and, and just everything um you know receive the actual vis visualization so like you know a lot of people out here in the laws of attraction and things like that you know we're taught to like do a vision board and like put like the visual aid of this in your face right and this says a best friend is someone who knows how crazy you are and loves you anyways i love all my friends um so what I've been learning with this receive thing is like I'm actually letting myself receive the visualization for myself. And it's sometimes things that I would never, as my human, think of, right? And then when I get this visualization, I savor it. And then each idea that I get with it, I cherish it. And then I nurture all of this with love, right? And so when I say nurture with love, I speak to it in love. I think about it in love. I align with it in love, right? I'm just trying to align with each idea that comes in i'm building that love story i'm building the beat in the love story right thoughts words alignment that's your vibration the alignment why i'm going to change it to alignment is because the alignment that you carry is the vibration that you're carrying right so you could either be like up here or you could either be like down here and either way when that blessing comes in you're going to catch it at either one of those places and so when your thoughts and your words and your alignment are in sync with one another, then you're catching, you're receiving the thing without really having to work. It's like magical how it comes to you. Be thankful when these things come and be grateful if they change, right? So receiving is so big and I want this for all of us guys. And so that's why I did this. And so if you know anybody that's working on receiving, send them this message, you know, message this, this message to them. Um, you know, this was really big. Simone's been telling me about it for two years. And then, you know, I finally got to see a couple people um, not receiving. And I thought of these people as reflections of myself. And so I thought to myself, okay, if I saw this in that person, then that's obviously in me. And so I went deep in it. And I've been working it in little ways. And it's been magical. You know, I have good intentions for everybody. I want the best for all, everybody. I respect and honor and cherish every single one of you that watch my videos, share my videos, communicate with me, tell me your stories, tell me your love. Um, you know, the the divine feminine is rising. And, and, and I think this is a message that that lady wants to get us to know is that, you know, she just wants to sit and relax and receive. Just be. Be the love that she is. That's what I'm learning. Be the love that you are, Sarah. Be love. Speak love, be love, write love, say love, create love all over the place. Um, you know, you want to make decisions from clear spaces, guys. Everything can wait. And so, you know, what, what got this message on a roll was just my message with Spirit today. And then, you know, people telling me that they have all these, um, you know, blessings floating about, but it feels chaotic. And it's like, you know, when, when you are receiving your blessing, it's not chaotic, it's sureness. 
It's sureness that it's yours to have. It's yours to receive because it's every single thing of you. It, it, you know it comes right here to you. You don't have to go get it. You don't have to order out for it. You don't have to have somebody bring it to you. It's yours. Um, so when we're making decisions from clear spaces, when we take that time alone, when we take that time to inflect with ourselves, we learn that every single thing can wait. Every response can wait. Everything can wait. I mean, yeah, you can feel like you'd say right now, I've done it. I just did it, right? But everything can really wait and make sure you, your love is lined up. You know, you, you have to be lined up in the name of love out here to be attracting all the things that your heart ever wanted. I love you guys. You know, we have to stay up. We got to keep our vibes up. Yes, the planet took a hit. Yes, there's some crazy stuff going on. Yes, we're running off of, uh, you know, other emotions, old ancestral emotions from thousands and thousands of years ago. Yes, healing is real. Yes, everyone can heal. Yes, I'm so thankful for every single piece of my journey and where it's brought me, you know. in receiving seems like such a silly thing. But it is really something that a lot are struggling with right now. And it's all right to admit it, you know. I would rather you admit that you're struggling with something than keep trying to tuck it down and you keep creating that same doo-doo. You know, the, that's, the, that's the first thing, guys, about, you know, this doo-doo that's in us is just, you know, bringing it up, feeling it, and, and like I said, putting it on the table and saying, well, damn you. That was some heavy stuff. You know, and then you're like, all right, you know, I got a lot more I'm multitasking. I got more pieces of the pie I need to work on. I don't have time for this, really. Thank you for what you served and what you did in my life. And now I got a, I got ideas. You know, you got these ideas constantly blooming from your heart. You got these passions in your heart and they seem silly, but you need to do them. You know, did you ever feel like you just needed to talk to somebody and then you try to talk to somebody else and your whole day goes wrong? Yeah, because you need to talk to that first person. And that first person might be homeless and have nothing to offer you, but whoa, what you get? You know, trusting that intuition, receiving the guidance of what streets to take and what who to call and where to be and, and where to be present and where to be the observer and where to be the sayer. I love you guys. I love you guys so much because we're all connected. All right, well, no one's saying anything. I really um, thank you for receiving me. Thank you for receiving, you know, my whole journey so far. Thank you, all of you. Um, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. If, if anybody wants to message me about receiving and, you know, the things that I've been doing in my life, and you want to talk to me about it, message me. Talk to me about it. Uh, this has been a big part for me. And like I said to you guys yesterday and today, um, you know, when my friend first started telling me about how I wasn't really receiving, I was, like, taking it personal. I thought she was, like, kind of bumping up against me. But, you know, sometimes whenever you're not receiving, love does feel like someone's bumping up against you because you're just not, like, it's like, oh, this love is, like, coming in trying to get you. And you're, like, no, no, no. So it just feels like bump, 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 right? So that could feel like that. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, girl. Well, I hope everybody has a great Friday. You know, I got to work tonight, so um, I'm chilling today. I'm, I'm, I'm relaxing. I work late on Friday nights, so I try to be chill on Friday days. I have never um, done that. I'm so guilty of never being relaxed on Friday, so I wake up at like 5 o'clock, and then I don't go to sleep till like 4.30, and... Um, in my learning to receive, um, I'm going to receive me some downtime before I go to work today. That's what this is. And, you know, that's what Simone's been trying to plug away at me. And, and thank you, girl, because I get it. I don't know if you're still on here, but I finally get it. I finally get it. Um, you make it seem so easy. You know, it, it's funny when... when People are in their love story and they're they're telling you their life. They're in their love story. They're in their heart. They're in their ideas. They're in they're in the feelings of, of, of themselves and what they feel about it and the fire and the flame, you know what I mean? And and that's a good place to be about anything. About your car, about your house, about your lover, about your success, about your travels, about your everything that you want to create, you know? 
being up in your vibration and being excited about you, you know, that's where you want to be. That's, that's how you want it. All right, guys. Well, I love you because we're all connected. I'm going to go eat something great. Um, like I said, if you want to talk to me anything about, um, receiving, I'm here, you know, I kind of like that Rohit stole my shit because I don't know. I feel like I get to talk to the people who really want to talk to me better and see them and interact with them a lot more. So it's kind of like, you know, it was like feng shui of the Facebook. <laughs> you guys know I'm a energetic feng shui artist. And so, you know, I kind of, I guess the universe gave me a little bit of Facebook feng shui. Aw, shit. See, man, these ideas that you get, these ideas are crazy wild. But they're so good. They're so good. They're so good for you, you know, to get to get tuned into your visualizations and your ideas and what that all really means. Um, you know, I always got the most inquisitive award. I, you know, I, I would have question after question after question, idea after idea after idea of something. And I never knew what that was. And, you know, it was always kind of taught to be like my downfall. Like you're in this imaginary life, Sarah. Like, what are you doing in this imaginary life? And I'm like, I'm just creating my own shit, bitch. <laughs> You know, but I didn't get strong in that until recently. And so, you know, be patient with yourself. Be patient with the with your ideas and your and your blessings and trust that they are, you know, these particles out here that you have to nurture with love, with your words, with your thoughts, with your actions. You know, you have to nurture your body. You you, you want to feel good when you get to your greatness, right? You don't want to be too tired to enjoy it. I love you guys because we're all connected, um, you know. May you all receive everything that your heart ever desired. One love.